Hammered by Kevin Hearn. This is book three of the Iron Druid Chronicles, urban fantasy, and it is a quest to take down Thor. This is a druid, the last druid. He's survived for centuries, thousands of years, and he is the last one. He has taken on an apprentice, but throughout the course of these books, he really is kind of out of place in the modern world. So this is his fun interactions with the modern world, but also a cast of characters in which he has kind of associated with. There's witches nearby in his place. He runs his own tea shop and he has the apprentice he has lawyers a pair of lawyers uh, a werewolf and a vampire so lots of fun experiences and his lawyers want him or want revenge against Thor and so they kind of uh, convince him to scout Asgard and check it out and one of the witches nearby wants one of the uh, golden apples from Asgard so he goes on a scouting mission and the main character is able to both uh, arrive and leave Asgard successfully on the scouting mission and then assembles a team to then go after and take down Thor. So that's the main uh, plot of this book and it really is wrapped up nicely. It's uh, 295 pages, 30 chapters, so really about 10 pages per chapter and it just is a nice wrap up. It, it could be the end of a trilogy. I know there's a whole series but this book ends nicely. I think I'm actually going to take a break before I read the rest of them just because it did end so nicely in a nice neat little package and uh, there, the format. It follows a very familiar format. There's the intro, you know, the the action uh, right at the beginning and then there's, you know, visits from other deities in the Pantheon, you know, a conflict and then a side quest you know, recon, then the main story, and then the ending. So, you know, it just kind of follows a very familiar format. It's almost to the point of serialized, which is okay. Like, it is a long series, so you got to know what to expect going into this. But at 300 pages, very accessible. I thought this could even stand alone. It didn't have to be part of a series. So they got the crew, and they go after them. Really good. Uh, I, I don't really want to say too much about what happens in Asgard. I don't want to give anything away, but he's got this nice crew, including a thunder god, a Nordic thunder god who is like, hey, Thor stole my thunder. Yep, I had to say it, but there it is. So, uh, I really liked that this main character has really stayed alive and out of trouble for thousands of years, and then just recently in the modern day, he's kind of gotten into all this trouble and that's where this book series you know begins and goes through is like his chronicles of running into trouble and getting into and out of it i really like his apprentice in that he's trying to train another druid and carry on you know he's so he's not the last druid so i really like that idea and at the end there's even a whole um almost like epilogue devoted to the apprentice so the 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 plot points from the story are from the main character's point of view. The last epilogue is from the apprentice's point of view. So I thought that was really great. Looking forward to more uh, about the apprentice. That'll be awesome. And it really is uh, similar uh, to Jim Butcher's Dresden Files, right? Modern fantasy, you know, just it's really awesome. Magic, great stuff. This is specifically Celtic North mythology though uh, with a little bit of Nordic mythology thrown in hence Asgard and Thor and all that stuff so really liked it there was a point where in order to travel to Asgard the crew needs to bond and it really is just story time so each of the members tells their story really great lots of different perspectives they're all unique really creative I thought that was cool. I, I could see how that could be maybe trudgery for some because it's not quite as much action, but I thought it fit right in. It was a good change of pace. Really cool. So, you know, the calm before the storm of the big battle. Really, really neat. Uh, I liked that the, the vampire, uh, you know, the lawyer, he waited, you know, hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years for revenge, and he finally found somebody who can take him to Asgard to, to take his revenge on Thor. So that was cool. 
I really didn't know what to expect going into this. I thought that the 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 group of Russian guys with the beards, the the Hammer uh, group, I thought they were going to be the main point of this. Hence, you know, Hammered. Uh, but really the focus was on Thor. So I liked that. I liked that they were a minor instead of the major. So there's still potential. Like, they're not gone. They're just, you know, <laughs> not bugging the main character currently. So I, I envision them as being a book further down the road. Uh, and I did, the last thing I liked about this was, you know, it was a good book, but I also enjoyed that he still wants to recover the damaged land. I can't remember if it was the first or second book, but, you know, the the god that wanted revenge against him or that has been hounding him for years and centuries damaged the earth and so the the druid wants to recover that land in arizona so interesting that he's getting all of his affairs in order for his trip to asgard and potentially moving away but still wants to take care of that property and make sure that it's all healed up um i th another thing i just remembered it goes more into the druid like magic and the learning to be apprentice an apprentice and the initiation all that stuff really cool it's you know in the past it's just kind of like oh i can heal boom done and it goes into a little bit more detail here so that was really cool things i didn't like i really didn't like the squirrel guide i can't say anything more um in that i liked the character so i was a little bit uh sad how that turned out I think you can kind of guess where I'm going here, and I'm going to stop talking about uh, what happened in Asgard. So, um, Squirrel Guardian, super cool. <laughs> Great book, uh, fun series, uh, an ancient druid in modern day with magic. He's the last of the druids, so he's training an apprentice. If you like urban fantasy, this book it will be right up your alley. Lots of magic, lots of fun, and the quest is to take down Thor. So, remember to buy your books used or digital.